Hello everyone and welcome to the Symbian Studio Show. My name is Cadnep and today we are playing Ascendant Hearts on the Nintendo Switch. And I have no idea anything about this game. This might be incredibly interesting or it could be incredibly dull. But brought with you today I should note that I'm sitting with the window wide open. So if you hear any weird things like gunshots or cars driving by or little kids yelling outside of the Symbian Studios headquarters, just know that's the reason. And in case you didn't know, I've only mentioned it three times already, we're with Symbiote Studios, and you can check us out at www.symbiotestudios.com. Or, if you're not a boomer, you would just know that it's symbiotestudios.com. We have lots of cool plushies, t-shirts, and more, like this Transformers officially licensed Soundwave plushie. Look how adorable he is. His head turns to the left, turns to the right. It can shake, he can come home, he can hug you, all that and more. All right, without any more delay, let's play Ascended Hearts, which I have very little um, faith in it being an incredible game, but you never know. I'm, I'm hoping it is actually a game and not just um, another visual novel, but based upon the art already, it's kind of looking like it's probably gonna be a visual novel. So, let's go. Yeah, I forgot the switch, you have to press B. I'm not going to read this this time. I know you guys always have me read this, but this time I'm not going to do it. You can do your own reading at home, okay? Sure, I'll be your friend. <laughs> okay? I wonder if this is going to be an amnesia one. I rub my head. The music is getting all dramatic here. This is going to be a visual novel, I fear. Why are visual novels bad? Because I, I sit here and you just watch my eyes reading the screen. My town is more. Different. I mean, if you were dropped into your actual town, you would instantly know, right, if it was right. You'd be like, well, there's a Taco Bell on the corner, but there's not one here today, so you would think that would be kind of odd, but... Ducks away, like ducks often do. Even though that's not how they're using the word ducks. I just wanted to say ducks because I enjoy that word so much. Well, already. Nice. Let's roll die and see if we win. If you saw this dog in real life, you wouldn't be like nice doggy. You'd be like running the heck out of there. I mean, that's freaky. I have no idea, Common Pikachu, what this is. You're going to find out with me, so... I have no idea. Now there's two. And, okay, work with me here, right? The dog's hair. Who braided the dog's hair? I mean, possibly, quite possibly, he could put that bone necklace on. But the hair? Yeah, it totally feels like a video game battle. No one would be that calm. Anyone sees these dogs, they'd be freaking out. No one's like, hmm, this seems like a video game battle. Despite my cries. Oh, no, there's four of them, and they... 
they must have braided each other's hair. That's what happened. All four of these wolf dog things get together and braid hair. Wait, the, the command was to me, not the dogs? Okay. The young woman who approaches me. Well, hello. I really want these to be good. They never turn out to be good, but I want them to be good. I mean, I really have belief that someday I will play one of these. That's really good. I mean, I guess that last one with the zombie girls was kind of okay. Magic. The Gathering. I mean, I would guess you don't know the town. She's wearing weird clothing. Lightshire. The most generic name for a town possible. We just take two words that are interesting and shove them together. And I guess Shire is not that, not that very interesting after all. Shiori? At this point in real life, this dude would have wet himself from like all four of these wolves attacking him, and then all of a sudden this girl in a cape comes up and everything's all cool. Okay. That's her puzzled expression. That's also what she looks like when you're like, nah, let's go Dutch, you pay for it. Is there like air coming out of her mouth? Oh well, we'll figure it out eventually. You're now my new best friend. So what do you guys think of this so far? You know what's disappointing in this one? They don't have like auto scroll, so I can't just, you know, press it and leave it. Okay, at this point, what are the chances this is not a visual novel and actually this is gonna morph into some sort of gameplay? I would say the chances are very low, but... I like the music, it's better. Biden care. I said, oh, Biden care. Then an in would heal our wounds. You know what's unusual, right, about politics in particular? Talking about politics again. Uh, because, like, on here, 
talking to you guys. I'm almost 100% sure everyone who's on here is a Biden supporter, but like living in Tucson, if you walk down the road, just a ways, like literally I could throw a pebble and I guarantee you I'd hit a Republican here because these people are red staters and a lot of them are kind of pro-Trumpers. I don't know why. You tell me, right? Why anyone would be pro-Trump. But a lot of them are. But on here, it's like you can pretty much safely assume that everyone I'm talking to or will talk to or will ever watch this feed is pretty much pro-Biden. Weird, right? Weird how things are, just depending on where you go. I'm not playing the zombie one because, I don't know, I just want to mix it up. And it's part of the my trope of never finishing games. I think she has unrealistic waist proportions. I mean, everything else seems like in proportion, but like her body is like she's like six foot-ish? But also, she's small because her arms are small. But, like, I'm not exactly sure where her waist begins. It's kind of hard to... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Common Pikachu, you're voting for Lennon in 2020? Hello, number two. You have more realistic body proportions. We can all just chill out to the music here. This is going to be my least talky-talky show ever. I mean, when you're not doing the, like, the verbiage for the people and you're not talking it out for them, it's, like, not a lot to do except for read. Oh, I gotta do her expression. Wow. Oh, they can't revive the dead. Well... Hey, comment Pikachu. Why do I have as many subs as PewDiePie? I'm playing the coolest games. If it's been a long day for anyone and you just want to fall asleep during this, that's fine. This music is very soothing. What's up, Stack Stacks? Over there is a church. Come on, let's go. Who doesn't invite new friends to a church the first day they see them? Like, I'm like, hey, I just met you. Let's go to a church. What do you do here? Oh, you guys stay up till midnight for class sign-up stacks? That's cool. The music's way calming. I have expect you answer like you go to church to save your progress or something equally. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it is saving your process. I'm, okay. Based upon how they're talking, I'm really hoping this turns into a JRPG really soon. I don't think it's going to, but it could. Did the gods smite your family? Yes, that that's that's what happened here. They were smited. this oh hey cool we can ask. okay ask about the gods pretend to understand let's ask about the gods <laughs> uh, 
we're all right. Okay, we're already at a save point. I'm gonna save this because if I just keep asking, it's gonna. So I have to pretend. That, okay. Either way, it's save. What? Wait, wait. Here we go. I hit the wrong button. Stop hitting the A button. This is not the Xbox. Oh, okay. Here we go. I think I... It's auto. I'm... Whatever. Why is A back? It doesn't make any sense. Well, if she was talking about Mormons, she'd be right. Who doesn't? I've added Zeus to mine. I have no idea what this is that Samuf Yan said, but it's blocking it. So I have no idea. It's held for review. Let's see. Let's um. Let let's show it. So, someone translate this. I'm going to show this. It says that it's. It, they said that it's like questionable what they wrote. So I'm going to like allow it. And then one of you guys translate it for me. Here we go. I don't even want to pronounce it in case I'm saying something bad. Obviously, I think it's in Spanish, maybe? Spanish. Let's go with Spanish. I'm going with Spanish. They said something insulting in Spanish. Someone translate that for me. Common Pikachu, that's yours. Go. She sounds fascinated. The God of Healing, for example. I'm not interested. I would like to get to the game part. Propaganda? Question mark? Here, in case that was something bad, because I don't know what it says. Who knows what it says? Putting this back up. Can we get out of the church, please? Really? That's awesome, Common. Seriously? Someone insulted me on here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me take a moment. Okay. I just received my first insult on live air. That's awesome. And they use the word ship. Ship. Like, we're going to sail on a ship around the world. That's awesome. Finally made it. Finally, insults are coming my way. I knew this day would come. <laughs> That's great. No one has ever been so happy about being called ship, ship worthy. I was on the dock, but now I'm on the ship. Okay, get to it. Oh my gosh, you just met me and you're taking me around the entire town. Let's go. Potions, eh? We're only like 20 minutes in on this, and this might be the worst one yet. Seriously. It has no build up. It has no interest to the story. It really doesn't do anything for me. But you can get it on the Nintendo Switch for like under 10 bucks, so have fun. equipment. 
do you really speak Spanish, Common Pikachu? Is that one of your, your languages? That's pretty cool. Folded over her arm. <laughs> that would be amazing if, like, you could just buy a shirt and it auto fits you no matter what. You don't even have to worry about size, you're just like, this is gonna fit. Not a word, then how did you know what that said? Did you use translation? So boring. This seriously might go down as like one of the most boring episodes. This is even more boring than the one Spoon was on where he was like heavy breathing into the microphones. I mean, this, this game is literally making me sleepy. I mean, game if you can call it that. I actually think if I was in this dude's situation, I would probably think that I'm in some sort of virtual reality too, where I was dreaming. More likely dreaming. But, you know, who knows. I mean, think where this started, right? Every stream. Yay, Symbian Studios, buy our stuff, blah, 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 blah. super ha happy. And right now I'd be like, Sleeping. You know what to do. Uh-huh. Yes, let's do it. In this world, if you could actually equip your stuff like instantly like that and your other stuff flies off you, then if you actually got naked, you would have to legitimately pick get naked. It wouldn't be like step by step. It would just be a button, naked. Interesting. Please let me pick the quest, make this more interesting. not going to be. Wait, wait, hold on. The building she leads me to is crowded. It's crowded? Do you... <laughs> I, I, okay. I mean, shouldn't the art, if she's going to tell me this is a crowded area, have someone in it? Okay, no. This seems like they're setting me up for this to be a role-playing game, but so far I've just talked to her for like an hour. Fetch quest, fetch.
Well, since this game is so boring, let's talk about other boring stuff. Since I, I live in Tucson, it's actually kind of cold outside finally. I mean, it was, it was 100 degrees just like two weeks ago, and now it's 60, which is insane. This place is like bonkers. Uh, um, okay. I didn't really accept the quest. She just told me I accepted the quest. This is not looking like an actual game. Yes, level grinding. Let's grind some levels. Here's a bounty for 10 whammers. Hold on. Ten whammers. Please just get to it. I just... <sighs> he's just gonna sit there and self-contemplate if he's dreaming or if it's VR or whatever he's doing. It's just self-contemplation this game is. Game. They're called horses with quotes around them. Worst game yet. Ugh. It was at this time that he thought to himself, maybe Common Pikachu is right. Maybe I should be playing Mario right now. Please let us head out. I don't want to buy any more stuff. Let's talk about skeletons. I was thinking about skeletons today, right? So, you know, in all the movies, they have... I'll just keep clicking forward on this game, by the way. The skeletons, they come to life. They fight your hero, right? But in a lot of these movies, they talk. Uh, or worse, or minimum, I should say. They, they make growling kind of like, you know, undead noises when they're coming towards your hero. Well, I know a lot of people discuss the fact that, like, they don't have vocal cords, so, you know, skeletons couldn't make any noises. But in addition to that, they don't have any brains either or any muscles, or anything that can propel them forward. So, okay, so the next thought you were thinking is probably like, well, whoever's controlling them is making them work. But how does that work, right? So one person, let's say there's multiple skeletons. That person is working all of the body parts of that skeleton that's coming after your hero. That seems like a lot of work to pull that off. Or is it some like, like are spells like some sort of coding basically? where they say, you know, they have basic like laws written in, like, you know, stepping forward, uh, moving your mouth, swinging a sword, that kind of thing. Like, I wonder how skeletons actually would work. I mean, it doesn't seem very feasible. I mean, other monsters seem to make sense, but skeletons, they just don't. At this point, I'm not really paying attention to what's going on on the screen. It's so slow moving. I can see why this game was under 10 bucks. Maybe it was over 10 bucks. I don't know. Whatever it was, it just five, maybe five would be reasonable for this. I'm, I'm sure I paid like as low as possible. And 
why is she explaining to us how to put stuff in our inventory and such when we don't actually need to do that? It doesn't progress the story. I'm not learning anything here because I'm literally pushing, pushing the B button over and over again. So she could explain to me for like mm, three years how to do everything in a super precise way, but it wouldn't matter. None of it matters because she's not progressing the story. I know no more about her than when we started playing this. I know nothing about myself. All I've learned to do is fake equip clothes, equip we weapons, and now equip magic. But I'm not actually equipping that because I am not doing anything on this controller. She's just telling me that I'm doing something on this controller. So it's worse than bad. It's a lot of internal dialogue from this guy. This guy that you don't really care about. And more importantly, the internal dialogue is referencing things that aren't progressing the story. We get it. You're a fish out of water. You don't know where you're at. Nothing's happening here. That's the point. Nothing is happening. Yeah, I'm ready to fight, but I'm sure you, <sighs> Never mind. You should equip that, but I can't equip it because there's nothing for me to equip. You're just telling me to equip things, but not giving me any agency to do it. Correction. Sorry, we got our first thing to do. Belt it around my waist. Strap it on my back. Let's just strap it on my back. I got a choice. Wow. Who knew? Bad timing, right? Okay, if it's better, why don't you give me that option? Because this little back and forth here is not really helping us. Okay, there you go, good question. And what did you learn today? You learned to put your sheath at your waist. Putting your sheath on your back, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, is the wrong thing to do. You know, actually, a lot of times I, I sit back and I'm like, why am I trying these new games? What's the point, right? I'll tell you what the point is. The point is so that you guys don't have to play them. You know, who knows? Sometimes they're winners, most of the time they're losers, but you don't have to buy them. I waste the money, you don't have to. Well, we moved out of town. That's great. Do I get to do anything or I'm, we're just going to pretend that I'm doing something? Those are pretty cute. These are the whammers, but I thought whammers were money. Are these like such basic creatures that they're basically considered money? So one of them is like a dollar. If you kill two, you have two dollars here. Just trying to just trying to figure out the advanced economy that's going on in this game. Ouch. Drawed my sword. <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, there's no death in here. So now there's no point to the story either. There's no consequences. That's always best. Wouldn't you have liked it better if you were watching Die Hard, a great American movie, and you knew that John McClane, no matter what happened, he would just respawn? I mean, who cares if he gets cut up by all of the glass on the ground or some of the terrorists shoot at him and hit him in the head and he falls to the ground because he'll respawn. Who cares? Amnesia, so cliche. This is so boring. That is an interesting question. It's weird that slime give you gold sometimes because where are their pockets? Why would they give you gold? Inventory, a magical place where you can have anything you want. Okay, now we're getting interesting. Remember this moment, Common Pikachu. This is the moment. I mean, are those berries that you're picking? Because you seem very interested in them. Like, much more than someone who would ever pick berries. beckons. This is when it gets to the romance novel. She sighs and beckons me closer. I step closer to her. She plucks a handful of berries from the nearest bush and holds them out. I accept them. But like with the potions, I don't know what to do except hold them uselessly. That's great writing there. That's quality. Okay, she scans me up and down while I fidget. And then she nods. Put them in your pockets. Okay. Again, this would be a nice invention for real life. Endless Pockets. That could be the name of the company, endlesspockets.com. Our pockets are endless. They're wormholes. Put your hand in. You can even put a car in our pockets. Can you imagine that? The commercial would be like, hey, Bob, are you calling an Uber? Nah, I got my car in my pocket. That's it. I make a sw I make a promise to you. No more. Ah, I can't do that. I, I didn't lying to you, but 
really I need to cut down on these, these visual novels. I need to do more research before I get us all roped into one of these. Because they're boring as hell. Or heck, if that bothers you. Notice she's still in that same pose this whole time holding that blueberry. Art. He has become a man. Fighting whammers has made him a man. I'm calling Pikachu. What are you playing with friends? Ah, skill points. Okay. It is kind of annoying that she has to explain everything to him. And the reason it's annoying is because you're really not... No matter what she says, she could be like, you have a special power that can only be unlocked by going to the temple. But you're not going to the temple. She's automatically going to bring you to the temple. So no matter what you do, you have no power in this. So her explaining it, that matters not. Oh, you're playing Among Us? Okay, cool. Is there not going to be any, like, set um, save points? I guess I have to save on my own, huh? This reminds me of the Jazz and the old Peanuts um, cartoon. Did you guys ever watch those? Charlie Brown, Snoopy. And additionally, what's the point of showing me all of these new locations and explaining them in like crazy detail if I don't get to choose to go there? You might as well just be like, and now we're going to go get some mana. And now we're going to go heal. Don't even bother telling me the process. I don't need to know. I can't change it. You look out of place, buff boy. Does he look like he should be from another game? He totally does, right? If I get to pick this, I'll be amazed. Nope, I'm not picking it. It's just all gonna be dialogue. I'm a tank. Although, you know, when it's an actual game, I don't mind playing tank. Sheesh. I don't think anything could have saved this game, but definitely taking all of the choices out of the person's hands but making it seem like you can make the choice is definitely not a smart decision. I mean, at least fake it. Give me some fake options and 
let me choose one of them. Even if they all go to the same thing, at least I feel like I have some control over this, which I don't, but it's nice to fool your, your audience. In other good news, it seems like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X have been getting canceled for a lot of people. I guess that's the bad news. The good news is Symbiote still has them both coming here. So I'll get to preview some of those games. Hopefully they're better. I mean, they can't be worse than this, right? Well, hello. Why is your mouth open like that? It just seems like an odd picture to have her stuck on. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm reading the words, but really they're not conveying what I think they're supposed to be. I don't. Wow. Oh, here we go. Should I be like honest, I'm clueless, or I'm adventuring? Let's go with I'm clueless. Flurry, that's a good word. It makes me think of Mick Flurry, which makes me think of the better DQ Blizzard. Man, Blizzards are great, but you know they have like a thousand calories in each one of them. I mean, if you get like a decent sized one. Like they have the medium sized ones, but this is like 500 calories. And if you're trying to eat under 2,000 calories a day, that's like 25% of your calories in one dessert. So basically, I can never eat a Blizzard, which is a bummer because Blizzards are awesome. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, wow. So a character that hasn't been developed to me, I have no connection with. And literally the most connection we've had is that she had that picture of her eating blueberries. Is now mad and storms off and I should care. Save point? Ugh. You know, it would be kind of cool to live in a world where all you had to do was go out, fight some monsters, get some gold, then you could just come back in town and like eat. Basically, everyone would, well, no one would be poor, really. Well, most people wouldn't be poor. Like, if everyone could just, like, oh, I need some money, walk out, <laughs> out out of the forest, kill some monsters, come back. That'd be kind of a neat world. 
but then someone will come up with something like Mick Monsters where like, don't want to go out and kill monsters on your own? Well, we got it for you at Mick Monsters. You can get your own monster here today. And then of course, Mick Monsters would be making more money than everyone else. And then all the other villagers would be mad at Mick the Monsters because they're like, why is Mick Monsters allowed to make billions of dollars where I have to go out and hunt for my own monsters? Yeah. So there would be no perfect world. Oh yeah, she hasn't introduced herself yet. Tell me your name. It's like watching someone slowly get tortured. That's what this stream was today. There we go. I'd rather not. <laughs> Just give me something, game. Anything. Just g give me a reason. Sympathize with her? Why not? Look how happy she is now. Here's the question, right? If this is their actual world, that's where they're living, right? Not the guy, but like the rest of the people. Why would they know what virtual reality or JRPGs are? I mean, it looks like they're living in a medieval kind of village. Why would they know what any of these technological advanced terms are, right? So him saying that is kind of, I mean, he's confused by them, but they would also be confused by him, right? silent stream ever like this stream is basically my internal dialogue to this game And what would be someone's motivation to continue going on? I don't care about her. I don't care about the character I'm playing as. I don't even know the other people. And getting berries, I mean, I can do fetch quests, actually do them in other games.
No, I'm not. And actually, that's a good place to end. I would like to apologize to everyone who normally watches this stream. I picked a terrible game. This game tonight, if it's your thing, that's cool. You know, I, I'm glad you like it. And if me showing you this little preview helped you determine if you wanted to buy the game in the future, that's awesome. And um, if it helped you not decide not to buy this game, that's also good too. But it's definitely not for me. And I don't think it's a very good game to stream either because you can't really interact with it. Nothing's really happening. It's almost like you're watching a movie with someone, but the movie's terrible. And additionally, the people that you're pulling along to watch this movie don't want to be hostages watching this movie. So, yeah, it, it's not the greatest idea. But, you know, hey, we checked it out, we saw what it was, and we realized that it's bad. But you know what you can do that's way more fun than this? Check out symbiostudios.com. We have lots of cool plushies. You can get this awesome Soundwave Transformers, aka Transjeebles, plush there. And uh, he's a lot more fun. And he's fun to listen to. He can be your friend, okay? And next time we'll have something better. I'd like to send a special shout out to um, Stax and Common Pikachu. And with that, Zaijian. I know it should be 